Hey sports fans, we're back again and this time we're here with the quarterback who rose his draft stock as much as any other college athlete during the 2020 season, BYU signal caller Zach Wilson. The 21-year-old Utah native is as fun as there is to watch at the quarterback position with his NFL-ready pocket presence and his deadly ability outside of the pocket. Wilson is a guy that can make all the throws and can shake a defender or two if he needs to and make people look silly in the open field. There may not be a more balanced quarterback in the upcoming draft as well as a QB with as many question marks as Wilson because he went from a relative unknown to potentially a top five pick in the upcoming NFL draft. But these are things you may already know. Today we're going to look at 10 things you don't know about Zach Wilson. But before we get into that, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button for me. All done? Perfect. On to our list. Number 10. Wilson originally committed to Boise State. Choosing a college to attend is always a tough choice, but when you're a college prospect hoping to put yourself in the best position to get the kind of grooming and exposure to become NFL ready, that decision becomes a little bit harder. Coming out of high school, Wilson had offers from places around the country and initially thought Boise State would be a great fit. After a four-hour conversation with his mom, dad, other family members, and coaches, he finally decided to take his talents to BYU. Wilson and his family are very close, and at the end of the day, he felt the decision was not his alone to make. The selling point from Zach came from Coach Sataki, who told Zach he could drive home every Sunday and have dinner with his family as they were just 18 miles away from Provo. Number 9. Zach Wilson Wanted to Choose Basketball Zach's love for sports started from a very young age. He and his two brothers would throw the football around for hours on end because they were a football family and their father was pushing them towards becoming football players when they grew up. The problem, though, Zach's favorite sport was basketball. Ever since he could remember, Zach had dreams of playing Division I basketball and in one year played in over 120 basketball games. Zach and his father traveled around the country going tournament to tournament and eventually Zach realized that basketball wasn't his best sport and switched to football. With his dad as his first real coach, Zach quickly developed and made football his main sport, and as they say, the rest was history. Number 8. Scouts are worried about how he will play against real competition. Zach Wilson had one of the most meteoric rises to stardom that we've seen in some time. Don't believe us? Go check out the guy's Wikipedia page. The dude was a relative unknown outside of BYU faithful. After a spectacular junior season where he tossed 33 touchdowns to just 3 interceptions with another 10 touchdowns on the ground, Zach Wilson went from a guy who was the definition of middle of the pack to a guy who will be vying for leader of the pack come draft time. The only problem when it comes to Wilson and his stats and success during his last season that has him on everyone's radar is the fact that he was facing competition that was, well, middle of the pack. The independent conference isn't exactly the SEC, and Zach Wilson hasn't really played the kind of competition that gives him NFL-caliber defenses to face. Scouts aren't necessarily knocking Wilson's talent because of what he put on tape is rather impressive, but it's something that will be on the front office's minds when it comes time to select a signal caller. Number 7. Zach may be the best BYU prospect since Hall of Famer Steve Young. Utah is a beautiful state with more to offer than most would ever know, but successful NFL quarterbacks aren't one of the things the Beehive State is known for. While there have been talented quarterbacks like Ty Detmer and of course Steve Young, only Young has gone on to have a career that you'd hear recruiters sing the praises of when bringing in prospective high school talents to join the program. The latest NFL hopeful out of BYU is fastly being considered the best prospect since Young to have their success in college translate to the NFL. If we're looking at metrics alone, Wilson compares favorably to Young and actually broke his completion percentage record which has stood for 37 years. Wilson smashed the touchdown to interception record held for over 40 years by Gifford Nielsen and became within a fraction of beating the yards per attempt record held by BYU great Ty Dedmer. Bottom line, the kid could play and if he's anywhere close to Steve Young, then whichever franchise draft Zach Wilson is in for a treat. Number 6. Zach comes from a family of diehard Utah Utes fans. When your father used to play for the team and your mother is a diehard fan, as you can imagine, picking the other Utah school, BYU, might have been a bit bizarre for Zach Wilson. We should also mention that Zach was a diehard Utes fan growing up and wanted to play football there since the second grade. When Zach wasn't recruited by the Utes, or BYU initially for that matter, he committed to Boise State and was ready to leave the state altogether before, as you know, BYU came calling and recruited their butts off to get Wilson into their camp. We're sure rooting for Wilson was bittersweet but now that he's going pro, the family could go back to cheering their son on without gritting their teeth. Number 5. Zach's not the first Wilson to play college football in Utah. Back in the 90s, Zach's father Mike Wilson played defensive tackle for the University of Utah. 
Mike was a 290-pound defensive tackle that didn't see the field a whole lot, recording just 12 tackles and one sack, but took his knowledge and love for the game and instilled it in his son, Zach. Number four, character concerns. That's what a handful of coaches and personnel inside more than a few organizations have come to the conclusion of when talking about Zach Wilson. A scouting director for an unnamed NFL team said Wilson is a rich kid who is an entitled brat. The executive went further and said that his parents are a pain in the rear and called him a know-it-all who isn't a leader and appears to be selfish. One executive has given him the death knell comp of being a Johnny Manziel without the drugs. Another executive said that Wilson lacks the qualities you want in a franchise guy. Yikes. Many that know Wilson quickly came to his defense and said Zach is known for eating top ramen and loaves of bread to save money and even worked as a door dasher to earn money for training sessions. Wilson was also said to have one of the most tireless worth ethics they'd seen and takes criticism from coaches readily, as is the most coachable players on the team, likening him to a humble sponge ready to soak up information. Well, we know that rumors leak pre-draft, and it's hard to sift through all the information as factual, but if these digs on Zach Wilson are true, it's possible more about his character is revealed all the way up until draft time, and for Wilson's sake, he'd better put out as many of these fires as he can during his virtual meetings with coaches and personnel before his stock plummets just just as fast as it rose during his fantastic final season at BYU. Number three, Zach played college football with his little brother. We told you that Zach and his brothers used to throw the football around when they were younger. What we didn't tell you is that Zach's little brother Josh followed big brother Zach to BYU and they were probably playing toss after practices during the 2020 season. Well, probably not, but they could if they wanted to. Dad, Mike Wilson, said he saw something special in his boys Zach and Josh from a young age and that the competitiveness between the two pushed them to where they are today. Sometimes that competitiveness got carried away, as their dad would note, saying, There might have been a few fist fights growing up, but it just spoke to how competitive they were. Josh, like Zach, is considered a very hard worker and was a late bloomer in high school, but once his brother Zach, who was two years older, left BYU, Josh's talents began to take off. Perhaps seeing his big bro leave to go be a cooper lit a fire under him to go back to their competitive dynamic. Either way, Josh went to BYU in 2020 and although he didn't see the field much, is considered a good linebacker with a ton of potential and it will be interesting to see if the athletic linebacker stock soars like his brother Zach's did. Number 2. His uncle owns JetBlue Speaking of soaring, Zach's uncle Dave Nealman is kind of a big deal in the aviation industry. Not only does his uncle own JetBlue, he owns three other airlines and plans to build a fifth as soon as COVID cools down. So basically, there's balling, and then there's Zach's uncle. When Zach makes it to the NFL, his family should have zero excuses on why they can't watch him play. Also, instead of people hitting up Zach for his NFL paycheck, Uncle David should be first in that pecking order for now. Number one, people are saying he may be better than top prospect Trevor Lawrence. Scouting franchise quarterbacks is as tricky as it comes. Are they going to be the next Joe Montana, or are they going to be the next Jamarcus Russell? The position of QB is hands down the biggest crapshoot when it comes to evaluating talent. In this year's draft, there are several big names vying for the top spot, with the overwhelming favorite being Clemson's standout and perceived generational talent Trevor Lawrence. Well, not perceived as a generational talent or first selection by all scouts in front offices, after a report came out that multiple sources actually prefer Zach Wilson and his skill set to that of Trevor Lawrence. One of those sources was quarterback wizard and former head coach of the Atlanta Falcons and San Diego Chargers, June Jones. Jones, who famously corrected Warren Moon's passing woes, agrees that Lawrence is very talented, but said that if he were Jacksonville, he'd trade the pick or select someone like Zach Wilson, who is more accurate with deep passes and focuses on the ball instead of the receiver. Another scout claims that what Wilson does as a thrower and a runner is more in line with what they are doing at the NFL level, and his ability is closer to that of Patrick Mahomes homes when it comes to making plays and the right kind of throws. At this point, it still appears that Trevor Lawrence is going number one and Wilson is likely going number two. But it's worth noting that Wilson's meteoric rise at least has him in the conversation with Lawrence. All right, sports fan, that's our time for former BYU talisman and soon-to-be NFL quarterback Zach Wilson. We hope this list taught you at least a few things you didn't know about the uber-talented quarterback, and if we didn't, then you're already ahead of the game. That being said, let us know how we did. And if you haven't done so already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all things football and all of our content. Until next time, sports fans.